is the creator of the famous four C's of diamond value and the international diamond grading system, which set the standards for diamond grading, making us the world's most respected independent authority on diamond grading. Each diamond submitted to the GIA laboratory is tested to be sure it actually is a natural diamond, a synthetic diamond, and to see if it has been treated or not. Then it is graded independently by several highly trained graders. This is an example of a GIA diamond report, which details all pertinent information about a stone's quality and characteristics. This is the date the report was issued. Each diamond is assigned a unique identification number. All the grading information for the diamond is stored in GIA's global database under this report number. Some people choose to have GIA inscribe the report number on the diamond's girdle to aid in identifying it. You can also inscribe a special logo, graphic, or a personal message. This line shows that this stone has been laser inscribed with the GIA report number. This diamond has a round girdle outline and the facets are cut in the brilliant style. This is the stone's minimum girdle diameter, the maximum girdle diameter, and the diamond's depth. For a fancy shaped diamond, the measurements listed are length, width, and depth. The GIA Diamond Report also has a facet diagram that approximates the shape and cutting style of the stone. Diamonds are weighed in carats. One carat equals one-fifth of a gram. GIA records weight to the nearest hundredth of a carat, which is the internationally recognized practice. GIA grades colorless and near-colorless diamonds for the absence of color when viewed through the pavilion from colorless to light yellow or brown by comparing them to GIA Master Color Comparison Diamonds. This scale shows the relative position of the color grades in the GIA color scale. This stone, a G, falls in here in the near-colorless range. GIA graders examine diamonds for the presence of any internal and external characteristics. Based on the size, nature, position, and number of any clarity characteristics found using a 10-power loop, they assign a clarity grade of flawless to included. Here is the GIA clarity scale. You can see that VS2 falls in the very slightly included range. Significant or identifying characteristics are marked on the facet diagram. The symbols indicate the type, position, and approximate size of a clarity characteristic. And a key to the symbols used is below the diagram. Here you can see how cut can affect the appearance of a diamond. This stone shows an even pattern of reflections. This one is dark in the center and the side facets are washed out. The GIA cut grade is used for round brilliance only and is based on the stone's face-up appearance, design, and craftsmanship, and it is listed here. And this is the scale for the GIA cut grade, ranging from excellent to poor. The angles and proportions of the diamond, measured with an optical measuring device, are presented on the report on this diagram. Finish grades include polish, which is the overall condition or smoothness of the diamond surface, and symmetry, which is the exactness of the diamond's outline and the shape, placement, and alignment of its facets. If a diamond shows fluorescence to long wave ultraviolet, the fluorescent color and strength can help identify it. Blue is the normal color of fluorescence in diamonds, but it may be other colors. If there is no discernible fluorescence or it is very faint, GIA lists none on the report. Comments describe additional identifying characteristics that are not otherwise represented on the report, as well as treatments. And if the diamond is inscribed with a special logo, graphic, or personal message, it is listed here. 
GIA Diamond reports are highly valued. To ensure that you are in possession of a real report and not a fake or copy, they include a suite of security components, including a hologram, security screen, and microprint lines, in addition to several other proprietary security features. The GIA Diamond dossier is similar to a GIA Diamond report, but less expensive. It provides the same information as the GIA Diamond Report, except it does not include a facet diagram and plot of clarity characteristics. Instead, clarity characteristics are listed here. This is the only real difference between the information on a Diamond Dossier and a GIA Diamond Report. And all diamonds submitted for a GIA Diamond Dossier are laser inscribed with a report number. GIA is not affiliated with any retailer, wholesaler, or manufacturer, giving you peace of mind knowing that your GIA Diamond Report or Diamond Dossier represents the impartial opinion of unbiased professionals. It's the difference between wondering and knowing.